Gamecocks get a career night from a trio of offensive players, and Carolina gets three turnovers on defensive plays. Great in the red zone, defeating Missouri 31-21. Coach, that's three games in a row, and clearly everybody can see the progress. I, I guess you've got to be happy with this football team. Another win the SEC East. Really proud of our guys. Uh, you know, everybody questioned coming off the Tennessee big win. How are we going to respond? We responded the right way. We we practiced the right way. We were prepared the right way. Our staff did a fantastic job. I really want to compliment our players. They came out and they, they worked and they, they approached the week the right way and they went into this game and I thought played extremely well on the offensive side of the ball for the entire game. Probably our most complete game offensively. Defensively continue to be a very opportunistic team as far as turnovers. Play well in the red zone. They have some things we got to clean up, but, but, but really proud of their effort. Coach, on the Palmetto Health injury report, one of your running backs, A.J. Turner, came out of the ball game. How's he doing? He's going to be fine. I think it's a mild sprain, uh, but we didn't, we didn't feel comfortable putting him back in. It's a little bit weak, but it's probably day-to-day -day for next week. It was homecoming at the University of South Carolina. The Gamecocks took on the Missouri Tigers. We'll have highlights on the Will Muschamp Show when we come back. Gamecock football with Coach Will Muschamp is brought to you by Wild Wing Cafe. We've got just the thing to make you wild. Gamecock football with Coach Will Muschamp is a production of Gamecock Sports Marketing. America's workers are passionate about building better lives for themselves and their families. Colonial Life is passionate about helping them with benefits that preserve and protect what they work so hard to build. Even if challenging times get in their way, when you need us most, we're there and we've been there for 75 years. Colonial Life, the benefits of good hard work. Win the opportunity to be the next Farm Bureau Insurance fan on the field. Witness pregame warm-ups from the sidelines. Winners receive two game tickets, pregame field passes, and autograph merchandise. Visit usccontest.com to register today. Fan on the Field is brought to you by Farm Bureau Insurance. Get the membership advantage. No one can stop me when I taste the feeling. Nothing could ever bring me down. Nothing, nothing could ever bring me down. Taste the feeling. During the Ford year-end event, discover why Ford is America's best-selling brand with the most five-star ratings, award-winning value, and the highest owner loyalty. Giving drivers what matters most. That's how you become America's best-selling brand. Drive F-150 with up to $10,094 in total savings plus $500 for credit bonus cash and get $1,000 Black Friday bonus cash on top of all other offers only at your Carolina Ford dealer. Join us every week at Wild Wing Cafe for Carolina Calls with head coach Will Muschamp from 7 till 8 p.m. Wild Wing Cafe is Columbia's home for hot wings, cold beer, and good times. Tune into Carolina Calls every week and go to wildwingcafe.com for more information. Hi, I'm Ray Tanner. And I'm Frank Martin. It's time for the Palmetto Series Food Drive to support Harvest Hope Food Bank. One in six South Carolina families struggle to find their next meal. So beat Clemson and help tackle hunger by donating your non-perishable items at participating buy low stores. And let's earn a point in the certified South Carolina grown Palmetto Series. Make your donations between October 31st and November 21st and follow the Gamecocks at palmettoseries.com. And let's make beating hunger a slam dunk. The Columbia Cup was at stake today in the Gamecocks. Take on the Missouri Tigers at williams Bryce Stadium. This week's highlights presented by Nissan, proud supporter of college athletics. Another gorgeous day for football. Around 70 degrees a kick. Unbelievable. And our fan base was, was jacked up and ready to go. Great job right here by Rashad Fenton setting the edge on the quick screen. But Steven Montak comes in and gets his hand right on the ball, taught very well by Tavares Robinson, our entire defensive staff. And then, you know, we get the, the down and around play with Rico. He runs extremely well, extremely well blocked. You see Brian Edwards finishing a block. 
downfield. And then the speed suite's been very good for us as the season continues to roll forward. And, uh, you know, Debo does a really nice job. He's like having a running back in the game at receiver. He's a very powerful guy. That's his third <laughs> rushing touchdown of the year. And here's the defensive play. Bryson on Williams. Well, you know, uh, Tavares Robinson brought, brought a full week pressure and we covered it well. Here we got the third down. Steve's got to take the quarterback in that situation. Uh, we, we just can't take the fake. We got to sit on the line of scrimmage, buy time for everyone to get there. And we get split right here. Uh, their splits create our, we're in a split safety defense, so their splits uh, created our nickel to widen a little further. We should have stayed closer to the box. That's on me as a coach. That was seven plays. 90 yards from Missouri to tie it up at seven. And coach, another turnover for your football team. That one actually, Brian uh, Edwards makes the catch there, or Debo does, and back to work with Rico Dowdle in the run game. Really good pocket present by Jake to buy a little time to get the ball down to to uh, to, uh, to Brian there. And this is a really well-thrown ball. Jake checked this. He saw the pressure. He saw it was man-to-man. -man. Uh, he threw it, and that was a heck of a throwing catch right there. He just got called out of bounds on that one. So right, very next play, Gamecocks. On a third and nine, go back to Rico. This well, time through the air. We designed to bounce it off the Missouri linebacker. <laughs> and then, but this great concentration right here by Rico to be able to stay with the ball. The ball is put in a good spot. Uh, he makes the play right there, and Elliott comes in there and, and really ties the school record right there, Colin Mackey's record. And it actually breaks it right there for 331 points. He tied it with the first extra point. He's the all-time leading score, and that's Rico's first receiving touchdown of his career. They went for it on several fourth downs. We had one-on-one -on -one matchup outside, and we just didn't match it up. Same situation here. We just we didn't fit the run the right way. We, we had practiced something we had practiced. Again, this is on me as a coach. We'll get those things corrected. Uh, but, but we come back here, and the, the big thing that I saw our offense do all game was answer. You know, when they scored, we came back. We answered with momentum and, and really proud of that. They capitalized on turnovers. Here you see a really well-thrown ball to Chavis Dawkins, and Chavis goes up, and another true freshman goes up and attacks the ball right there. And uh, we get a, get a sack situation, but a really nice pivot route with Casey Crosby. He makes a double move on the slot defender. Jake puts it in the only way, place that Casey can catch it. We're up at seven and a half time. Well, what a clutch play by both players. Casey Crosby, another touchdown reception. And here's Missouri when they had the running game started to get going, Coach. Well, first first drive of the second half, we really emphasized this with our players. Didn't do a very good good job of fitting the power there. And they, they catch us in man coverage, and their tight ends are beautiful. They got two, three big guys that can run the ball I and mean, get the ball down the field vertically. But you know, here they got a free runner at the quarterback. Jake puts it up to, to, to Debo and let him go make a play. And the guy goes up 50-50 ball. Great play on his part. Uh, we come back again with the base route concept. Uh, pocket breaks down, Jake scrambles. We put Elliott out there. We don't convert on the field goal right here. But again, I got a lot of confidence in Elliott. There's a guy that's uh, uh, going to continue to win games for us down the line here. For 46 yards, just slipped left on Elliott and back at 21 now, still tied. And here's Drew Locke trying a little bit more than he wanted. Rashad Fenton with an over his shoulder interception. Big time play. Runs himself in phase. It's a double move. He stays on top of the receiver, makes the play, and then we go into a 98 yard drive. When you're able to run the ball off your goal line, it gives you a lot of conf confidence and is demoralizing for the defense. Again, five man pressure right there. Great protection, 50-50 ball. We throw it up, let Debo go make a play. Uh, really excited about that. Again, another, another four-man pressure. We get loose on it. Well-thrown ball. Perfect seven-cut throw to Debo on the sideline. Both those guys with career highs today. Jake Bentley and Debo Samuel. And boy, what a run from Rico Dattle. A career high for him today as well. Another 27 carries, 147 in that touchdown. Well, the inside zone normally cuts back, and it did on that play. Really nice play by Rashad Fenton. Proud of his physicality. He's come along so well. We get a batted ball right there on third down, which is a critical, critical, and their guy comes in and misses it. And that's a huge, huge play in the game. Now we got an opportunity to go up two scores, and our offense really answers here. We get a little bit of the window dressing. Kurt Roper does a nice job of creating that, and Rico breaks the power play. Very well blocked by our offense. Uh, Rico here, again, patience in the hole. Finds the daylight, gets the ball down inside the 10-yard line, and we wanted to make this a two-score game. I mean, we just need to make it a 10-point game, two-score game, seven minutes to go, make them bleed for their yards coming up here, and, and that's what we did. Third and 20, hate this conversion right here. We should have been uh, better than we were in that situation. We'll get that corrected. A nice job by Chris Moody overlapping the play. 
Really nice job by Chris Moody running the wheel route right here, running with the receiver, putting the ball out of bounds. Fantastic play. They attempt the field goal. They miss it. Keeps it a two-score game. So huge situation. They get the ball back. We rushed three and dropped eight the entire time. The, it, time was the most important thing. We needed them to expend the, expend the play, and then Chris makes an interception to end the game. Again, I, I, you got to credit our staff. Our, our staff has done a nice job of just sticking with the plan, of not panicking, not not you know creating a lot of issues within what we're trying to do. Just just stay the course, and that's what you need to do. Sometimes when you face adversity, then in our day and age, everybody wants to change everything. You just stay the course. You know, we're good football coaches. We know what we're doing. We had a very young football team. We got to keep chopping wood and, and, and stay after it, and that's what we've done. Elliot Fry was a part of the win today, and we speak with him after the break about his diabetes and awareness this month. That's Elliot Fry on the Will Muschamp Show after this. When the Gamecocks are on the road, all fans are invited to the official watch party at Steve Tanny Hill's Group Therapy. There will be drawings for great prizes, drink specials, and former Gamecock football players to watch the game with. Over the last 10 years, Firehouse Subs Public Safety Foundation has awarded more than $20 million to first responders and public safety organizations across the country. More than one million of that has gone to organizations in the state of South Carolina. Between now and the Georgia game, each time you visit a Columbia area Firehouse Subs and round up while paying, you'll make a contribution to first responders. What does No Limits mean to me? Cultivating bold thinkers. Connecting students to the global economy. A commitment to life-changing discovery. Improving healthcare for everyone young and old. An amazing student experience. Academic excellence across campus. What does No Limits mean to me? Where do I begin? Good or better? The Hyundai Sonata versus the Toyota Camry. The Sonata has an available panoramic sunroof. The Camry? No. In the Sonata, available Android Auto. The Camry, no again. <laughs> and only the Hyundai is backed by America's best warranty. Better is the reason to buy Hyundai. The 2017 Sonata from Hyundai. During the Ford year-end event, discover why Ford is America's best-selling brand with the most five-star ratings, award-winning value, and the highest owner loyalty. Giving drivers what matters most. That's how you become America's best-selling brand. Drive F-150 with up to $10,094 in total savings plus $500 for credit bonus cash and get $1,000 Black Friday bonus cash on top of all other offers only at your Carolina Ford dealer. As the Gamecocks are set to kick off, remember that SAFE Federal Credit Union is your financial MVP. As a proud sponsor of USC Athletics, SAFE offers custom USC debit cards with each checking account. Enjoy no monthly service charge, no minimum balance requirement, and show your spirit each time you use your debit card. SAFE Federal Credit Union, your money is better here. Now Elliot Fry lines up for a 55-yard field goal off the left hash mark. Snap it back to Kelly, put it down, kick it up. It's long Good enough. distance, turning a little bit. He's got it! Elliot Fry just kicked a 55-yard <laughs> field goal. Can you believe it? He wasn't Boom. close either. Boom. I think he had about five yards across. With 35 seconds to go in the ball game. At age seven, I was uh, playing hockey. Um, and I came right off the rink and I sat down on the bench and just kind of collapsed. Um, you know, I'd, an ambulance took me into the hospital and, uh, you know, I was in there for about a week and they ended up diagnosing me with type 1 uh, juvenile diabetes. Um, you know, at that point they started, you know, I had to start learning how to check my blood sugar and uh, taking insulin and counting carbs um, and doing all that at age 7. Well, you can lead a, 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 an extremely normal life and still have diabetes, and I think that Elliot is a great example of that, who goes through playing major college football regardless of his position and still, you know, battles this disease on a daily basis. You know, it's a disease that, um, you know, at its worst it can be really bad and it, it can, um, you know, cause things like death. But, it, you know, if you're taking care of it 
and, and as long as you're in control, it doesn't have to stop you from doing, um, you know, whatever it is you want to do. If you want to be, you know, the president, you know, you can have diabetes, or if you want to just be a, a college football player, you know, uh, you know, my message is to kind of tell kids that it doesn't have to stop you from doing anything as long as uh, you're taking care of it. Well, it's got a great support staff here at the University of South Carolina and Clint Haggard and our entire athletic training staff are on top of all of his diet and the different things that affect him on a day-to-day -day basis with diabetes. Taking care of diabetes is, is, you know, the biggest thing. You have to watch it and you have to control it. Um, you know, me and the, and the medical staff and, and our nutritionists, we do a great job at, um, you know, them helping me uh, keep it on track, testing my blood sugar before games, making sure everything's uh, perfect so that when I go in the game, it, it's not a factor. You know, ever since I've, I've been here, um, I've kind of worked with JDRF, the Palmetto chapter here, um, doing the walks. Um, you know, a lot of what I do is kind of just, you know, I talk a lot with families um, who have, you know, type 1 diabetes and, and, you know, maybe I'll go to lunch with them or, or talk to them about, you know, give them tips or, or something or, or maybe talk to the kids and tell them, you know, that it doesn't have to be um, a factor in your life. If you control it, you know, you can do anything that you want to do. Well, Elliot is a wonderful person to begin with. and. You know, he believes in giving back and, and more than anything, educating people uh, to help them understand juvenile diabetes and what he's been through and his experiences and to be able to share those along with raising money to help defeat this disease is very important. Yeah, recently this summer um, I had an award named after myself and another uh, student here at USC, the um, Fry Picow. Uh, living and Leading Award for Diabetes, which I guess, you know, they, they kind of awarded us and, and kind of showed recognition for, for all the help that we've done kind of in the diabetic community here in Columbia. Watch out for symptoms like uh, sudden weight loss or um, maybe urinating or drinking a lot. Uh, these symptoms, you know, are early, early signs of, of type 1 diabetes. Um, you know, we're trying to raise awareness um, and, and turn type 1 into type none. Now at Buy Low, prices are down and staying down on the things you buy most. So visit your local Buy Low and pick up all of your game day essentials. Buy Low, premier grocery partner of the South Carolina Gamecocks. The 2016 Nissan Altima. An IIHS Top Safety Pick Plus. Forward emergency braking that could stop for you. Get to your local Nissan store today. Take on sudden stops. Get to Nissan, a proud partner of the South Carolina Gamecocks. Go Gamecocks! Sophie, his 13th birthday. Gift, we've got you. Guitar, coming tomorrow. Road game today, surprise party tomorrow. Uh, change of plans. Game tomorrow. No, birthday tomorrow. Oh no, oh no! Guitar, reroute. Birthdays are on birthdays. Party, relocate. UPS My Choice makes rerouting packages easy. Wow. How we're helping companies solve for the needs of customers like Sophie. Good hard work has earned Courtney Furlong the title of Colonial Life Academic Athlete of the Week. A member of the volleyball team, Furlong is a sophomore psychology major with a 3.956 GPA. This week's Academic Athlete is brought to you by Colonial Life. Colonial Life, the benefits of good hard work. 
the ball at the 20-yard line. They'll go back to Rico spinning at the 15. Rico at the 5. He will not be denied. Rico Dado from 20 yards out. Touchdown, Carolina. That's our Sansbury Eye Center. Did you see that play? That was on the tail end of a 98-yard drive, a 20-yard touchdown run by Rico Dado. Boy, what a serious coach for your football team. Well, that really, to me, was the turning point in the game. That took the wind out of their sails. 98-yard drive is totally demoralizing to a defense, and we really, you got to credit Jeff Dillman and our offensive line. I mean, our guys were in shape. They were ready to go. Sean Elliott, uh, they all did a fantastic job of blocking, and, and, our, and you got to credit our endurance in that drive. Bentley was four or five on that drive, and then Rico ran for 47 yards alone. Congratulations, that's our Sansbury Eye Center. Did you see that play? And now our Terminex Pest player of the game, Coach, and it's your wide receiver, Debo Samuel. Keeps getting healthier and better and better. He had nine catches today. Well, he's a receiver playing running back because he's a guy on the speed sweeps. You get him in there, he's a, he can make jump cuts and cuts, and he's got really good vision. But 50-50 balls down the field, he can make plays on the ball, and, and that's what you got to have in our league. Three straight weeks, he's gone at least eight catches and over 100 yards. Debo Samuel turning to be one of the finest wide receivers in the conference. Now it's time for the sights and sounds brought to you by Hyundai. And nothing better than a homecoming weekend at williams Bryce Stadium at the University of South Carolina. And Hyundai brings it to you. Now it's time for this week's Hyundai sights and sounds of game day. Today. The Gamecocks finish their five-game homestand in a crucial SEC Eastern Division showdown that is also homecoming at the University of South Carolina. It's Carolina versus Missouri. Set the tone early. Don't wait on nobody else. We set the tone. After the blitz, the ball's on the ground. Carolina dies for it. Then the Gamecocks say they've got it. They do. The first turnover of the day. Here comes Debo in motion. Speed sweep with Debo Samuel. Turns the corner at the five. Nobody going to get him. Touchdown, Carolina. Touchdown, Debo Samuel. Right side. He's under pressure. And they sack him all the way back at the five yard line. And that's Bryson Allen Williams. Up fake. Fade route. Right side to Dattle. Dattle reaching back. Jungle caught. Touchdown, Carolina. Touchdown, Rico Dattle. And here's Elliott Fry with his historical extra point. Snap it back, put it down. Fry swings through, he's got it. And Elliott Fry becomes the all time leading scorer at Carolina. They get the ball at the 20 yard line. They'll go back to Rico spinning at the 15. Rico at the five. He will not be denied. Rico Dado from 20 yards out. Touchdown, Carolina. Touchdown, Rico Dado. Going down the field, near sideline. The shot, Ben Man, quick pick up. And Carolina wins it 31 21 at Leaves by Stadium. It's their third win in a row. Now, Gamecocks everywhere can support their beloved university year-round at the USC Alumni Center. Our spirit capital is the place to support student learning, connect to each other, and advocate for Carolina, no matter where you are in the world. Alumni, students, faculty, staff, and fans, we are ready to welcome you home. Visit mycarolina.org and stay connected forever to be. As the Gamecocks are set to kick off, remember that SAFE Federal Credit Union is your financial MVP. As a proud sponsor of USC Athletics, SAFE offers custom USC debit cards with each checking account. Enjoy no monthly service charge, no minimum balance requirement, and show your spirit each time you use your debit card. SAFE Federal Credit Union, your money is better here. 2016 Nissan Altima. An IIHS Top Safety Pick Plus. 
With forward emergency braking that could stop for you. Get to your local Nissan store today. Take on sudden stops. Get to Nissan, a proud partner of the South Carolina Gamecocks. I'm Clay Matthews, and I'm good at football. And so is Verizon, because now you can watch every live, local, and primetime game on your phone with NFL Mobile, exclusively on Verizon, all without using your data. That's better than good. It's the best. And I'm the best. Watch live NFL games, NFL Red Zone, and more with NFL Mobile, all in HD, only on America's best network. Good or better? The Hyundai Sonata versus the Toyota Camry. The Sonata has an available panoramic sunroof. The Camry, no. In the Sonata, available Android Auto. The Camry, no again. <laughs> and only the Hyundai is backed by America's best warranty. Better is the reason to buy Hyundai. The 2017 Sonata from Hyundai. Gamecock football with Coach Will Muschamp is brought to you by Wild Wing Cafe. We've got just the thing to make you wild. Gamecock football with Coach Will Muschamp is a production of Gamecock Sports Marketing. Well, the Gamecocks finished a five-game homestand with three straight wins. Put us back on the road in the Southeastern Conference. That's time for our keys to the game brought to you by Toyota. Toyota, let's go places. Coach, a familiar spot going down to Gainesville to take on the Florida Gators. And they struggled today. Arkansas beating uh, the Florida Gators. It was over in Little Rock, but I don't think Florida got an offensive touchdown. But they're a good football team. They got good players. Jim and his staff have done a fantastic job. Obviously, I'm pretty familiar with the roster and, and, and the surroundings. So uh, uh, we're, we're going to enjoy this tonight, and we look forward to playing the Gators. Coach, congratulations again. Carolina winners, they're 5-4 and four in the season and going to take on the Gators next weekend. Thanks for joining us. Don't forget to see the Will Muschamp television show and see us Thursday, of course, on Carolina Calls. Listen for us as well. Come out and see us in the Vista at the Wild Wing Cafe. Thanks for being with us. Carolina winners on homecoming. We'll see you next time. That's a great job of answering. It's a great job of handling a big win. And going out the next week and got a team taking every swing they could on fourth down and you responded. You know, I, I don't know and I've never had to go through what you've gone through and, and to lose something you love. And, and I can't tell you how much it hurts us as a team, as an organization, as a staff. You're a wonderful young man. You had a tr tremendous future in front of you in football, but you got a tremendous future in front of you in life. The game ball to Robert. Oh,